Praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. Greetings, brothers and sisters. In the glorious and powerful and wonderful name of Jesus the Christ. As we are in a time, Jesus the Christ is going to build his church. And the gates of hell and men like Ralph Stair, the perverters of the truth, will not prevail. Now we're going to get right into this message here again. This next message about men like Ralph Stair and how profound they put the perversion right out in the open. Just like it says, the scripture said it, that they will do in 2 Thessalonians. It says that Jesus is coming after the working of Satan. And Satan's work is with all power, all signs, and lying wonders. And Ralph Stair is a lying wonder. People say, why are you talking about him? Because it just it, it is amazing to watch people continually do what they do, like Ralph Stair. How he pollutes and corrupts the Word of God, and how he lies about lies. As it, it, I'll, I'll I'll do it again another time about the eighty-seven prophecy and and uh, the coming of Jesus. How many times Ralph declared Jesus was coming before the year of two thousand? But then he turned around and said he never said it. I'm telling you, it's, it, it just gives me an opportunity to minister grace to the hearers, saints. But as I was thinking about the, uh, like I mentioned before, about driving the speed limit. Drive the speed limit, and you will see what it's like keeping the law of God amongst the religious people. That's a perfect example. If you try to speed limit, you'll watch how people go into a rage because you're keeping the law. Praise God. But we are living in a time of profound deceit and deception because it, it, there, there's scriptures clear in Revelation 13. It says, Satan will deceive the whole world with men like Ralph Stair, Kanye West, Joe Osteen, these religious folk, Franklin Graham. All those that profess to be Christians, but in their works they deny Him, being abominable and unbelieving, and unto every good work reprobate. Satan is going to deceive the whole world, whose names are the people, these are the only way you're not going to be deceived, whose names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Those are the only ones that are not going to be deceived in this time, saints. So make sure. Your calling and election is sure, and work out your salvation with fear and trembling to make sure that your name is written down in the Lamb's book of life. That's why Jesus said to the apostles, He said, Hey, rejoice not because devils are subject down to you, rejoice not because the sick are healed, rejoice because your names are written in the Lamb's book of life. Praise God. All right, let's get right into this message here. Uh, this is one that I'm going to do again with Sister Andrea, profound witness from God about men like Ralph Stair. And what an example this is. This is one of the things that poor Ralph didn't want out put over the air. This confrontation between God and Satan in men like Ralph Stair. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. I just got to tell you, y'all better look at me. In the mouth of the foolish is a rod of pride. What is the rod of pride? What is a rod here? This rod is a rod to beat people with. Now that's profound. What Brother Kirk defined there as the rod of pride in, in, the, in the mouth of the foolish is a rod to beat people with. It's just like the scripture is clear. About what's a man of violence. You're going to hear a violent spirit come from Ralph Stair here. When he's confronted by God himself through Andrea Saint. A man of violence. Through violence makes us think physical aggression. In Proverbs it has a broader meaning. General mistreatment and abuse of others. That's exactly what men like Ralph Stair have done for years. Men and women. 
just like I mentioned that that on the page uh, 125 in uh, the Harlot Church System by Charles Niebold Jr. talks about anger and rage. And he talks about why do people go out the back door as quick as they come in the front, he's, he asked. Remember now, violence in Proverbs means general mistreatment and abuse of others. Why do people go out the back door as quick as they come in the front, this, this fellow was talking about? This reminded me, I, I'll tell you, I found this book in 2013 when I was living on a farm. It wasn't long after that we departed from the evil works of darkness that Ralph Steer has been perpetuating for years. But listen to what this man says. He says, why do people go out the back door as quick as they come in the front? You know, the, the, uh, this fellow couldn't figure it out. He did not want to hear the truth. He wanted it to be their faults, not his. How many times have you heard that, Brother Stair? Old Ralph would say, hey, why do people leave Jesus? Yeah, they left Jesus because they didn't want their deeds manifest in the light. That's why they left Jesus. People leave Ralph, people like Ralph Stair, because they're departing from the stairs of death and the, and the, and the gates of hell, period. People left... Now remember now what Ralph, this is, I'm telling you, this is identical to what Ralph says. He did not want to hear the truth. He wanted it to be their fault, not his. People left because of his misuse of authority. He was spiritually and emotionally abusive, as you are going to hear with Sister Andrea here very shortly. It was after all his church and no one was permitted to do anything unless invited to do so, as you'll hear in the confrontation coming up. Those who had the slightest thought of contradicting him, especially if they began to place of leadership, became suspect. That's what happened to all the people. You, you, you hear him popping off. Somebody told I haven't heard it yet, but somebody said he's popping off about Brother Enoch again, when Brother Enoch hasn't spoken in years. But yet old Ralph thinks he's got himself lined up on YouTube or whatever. I'll get the, I'll get the, the clip and I'll use it to show what a profound lying wonder and lying false prophet Ralph Stare is. Those who had the slightest idea of contradicting him, especially if they had a given a place of leadership, became suspect. I wonder if that's what happened with me and uh, Brother Enoch or Brother Jonathan or Brother Christopher or Brother Chris Gingrich. Huh? That's exactly what happened. They had to be dealt with and usually tongue-lashed. I wonder if that's what you hear on uh, Sabbath services. I wonder if old Ralph they ha he deals with us by usually tongue-lashing us. Yeah, he does, but it's it, neither here nor there. You don't, it says answer not a fool according to his father, so you don't answer him according to his father. But you, I will rebuke the perversion that men like Ralph Stair have been putting out with for years, as you'll hear here. His Jezebel adulterous partner, Rose Larrabee, oh, here, right, let me get back to this. Leaving his church was not a pleasant option. Those who tried were often threatened by suggesting that they would be out of God's will and bad things would happen to them. I got a clip on what he just said recently about if you don't stay there on the farm, you're going to be damned. And then he was inviting Sister Burgess into his little conclave there of sexual perversion by saying, ah, oh, pretty soon you'll be ready to stay here all the time. Leaving the church was not a pleasant option. Anybody that's ever left the Overcomer Farm knows this firsthand. Those who tried were often threatened by suggesting that they would be out of God's will and bad things would happen to them. The loyalty of many within his membership was based on fear and intimidation. That's a witness from God himself, people. His Jezebel adulterous partner, Rose Larrabee, fueled his feverish manipulations with her own. She ruled surreptitiously behind his throne. Most everyone knew that. Now it's out in the open, as I'll get into that in detail not too long from now, about the perversion and depravity and profanity that Ralph Stair has put out there with his relationship with the whore Rose Larry. No one dared speak a word about it, though. Hush was the operative rule. Yeah, well, that's why when I spoke a word about it in prayer one time, Ralph went ballistic. He went ballistic. He come out of his little hole in the wall somewhere, and he came down to the dining hall 
I was working in the kitchen cooking that day and just raged, as you'll hear like he did with Andrea, but he raged at me. He said, you can't talk like that about me. People out there trust me. As you'll hear the same example with Andrea here near the end. When he tells her she can't talk like that because people, and then he stops short of saying the people around the world hear this kind of thing. You can't put out, you can't put out truth like that. Only deception from men like Ralph Stair. Let's go on with this message here, people. I just got finished telling you. You all better look at me. Now, you're hearing the beginning of the confrontation with Andrea. A fool uses his anger spiritually to be beat, and it's a rod of pride. Look at me! In the mouth of the foolish is a rod of pride. What is the rod of pride? What is a rod here? This rod is a rod to beat people with. Brother Kirk had a precise definition of the rod of pride in the hand of a fool, which is their mouth. I just got finished telling you. You all better look at me! A fool uses his anger spiritually to be beat, and it's a rod of pride. Look at me! I just got finished telling you. You all better look at me! A fool's wrath, listen to this, is presently... No, here's a fruit of the fool. Look at me! Their wrath, their anger, it's presently known. Look at me! Their wrath, their anger, it's presently known. I said, look at me! You may go. Hey! Get up and get out of here. It's presently known. And that means it is it is continually manifest. Or it is daily shown forth. See, now that's the truth, brothers and sisters. It's daily shown forth. I, many people that have ever lived on a farm there in South Carolina can testify that that's the way it was in the dining hall. More profound than in the tabernacle, although the tabernacle is a good example of what happens in the dining hall when you hear things like this going on. Look at me! Fool's wrath is daily shown forth. I said, look at me! You may go. Hey, get up and get out of here. I'll put you out. You hear me? Now he's talking to Andrew right here. Because she wouldn't look at him. I want you to go. Hey, you, go. Uh, you do it. Okay. Come on. No, you do it. You do it. Yeah. yeah. You do it. You yeah. tell God about it. Yeah. You, you tell God about Get it. Get out, you Satan. No. Get out. I'm not Satan. Now, you're going to see the confrontation between God using Sister Andrea and Satan using Ralph's tear. You watch the two spirits here demonstrated right in front of your eyes. And you make a, dis a discernment. Of him that serveth God and him that serveth him not, and from the to righteous and make a discernment from the wicked. Whose wrath is daily shown forth. You are Satan. No, I'm not. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 16 says, A fool's wrath, listen to this, is presently no, here's a fruit of the fool. You're full of hell. No, I'm not. You liar. Get out of this house. Uh, okay, you lead. You lead and take me. 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 Okay. Okay. And don't come back. I've known that for months. Now, you hear what he just said there? I've known that for months. That's because months ago, he grabbed Sister Andrea's ass, hoping to get a reaction that she might like it. And then... And, and, and then go even further into a sexual sodomite perversion. That's how the man's operated for years, people. There are numerous women that can testify, not just a couple, like he says at the end of this thing, but there are multitudes of women that can testify to this man's Esau profanity. For a while, you won't tell the truth about everything. What truth? That reminded me of Paul, Paul, uh, Pilate. <laughs> the Pilate said to Jesus, what is truth? Tell the truth about everything. What thing? You 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 drop pedals and and pedals and you you hold things over people's heads. You need to stop it. See what she said there? You drop pills. She got that from me, I'm sure, because at that time I was putting out how Brother Stair was taking his penis enhancement pills. It's called E R E D, erectional dysfunction pills that he was getting for years through the mail, cream or pills, whatever. He was, whatever, people. 
It's just amazing that she brought that up. Tell the truth about everything. And then listen to his reaction. She's a fruit of the fool. Get the hell out, woman. Hear that? that that's the pot pattern of the Apostle Paul now. I think it's pretty obvious, people. Don't overlook the obvious, saints. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. Amen. Yeah, yeah I told you. <laughs> well, I'm trying to. You know? Yes. I'm going to have to tell God about it. I, <laughs> The wise man contendeth with a foolish man, whether he rage or laugh, I, <laughs> there is no rest. Amen. I'm his, I know, because you all target me down there. How? I know, I know. You and your Jesuit in here, you are letting that woman Jezebel, you are allowing that woman Jezebel to preach and to teach to you, to, to that people. You are allowing it, you. Isn't that interesting? He, he... She actually is, God using her to mention, even at this time, Rose Larry, that woman Jezebel, to rule over God's people. You can mark it down. She's moved her way up the ladder, where she made it into the, being vice president of the corporation now, over there, or whatever you want to call it. Works the office. And I got, I'll get into that another time because it is so profound, the truth of the perversion of these people and how they think with their reprobate mind and seared conscience that they can actually believe that they are walking in the word of God and his truth and in sincerity. No way, people. You are allowing that woman Jezebel to preach and to teach to you, to, to that people. She's talking about Rose Larrabee, period. Teresa wasn't even on the farm at that time, so you couldn't consider her Jezebel. But you can mark it down. That's another thing. Old Ralph said that God commanded him to marry Teresa. Commanded him. But yet he didn't command him to be faithful to her as he was sexually perverted, uh, unfaithful in many, many times, probably hundreds, God knows how many. But how many times since he married Teresa, he's been unfaithful to his precious wife, as he calls her? No, people. We're not going to be sidetracked by the lies and lying wonders that Ralph Stair puts out. We're going to hit this thing head on. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee, because thou sufferest that woman Jezebel... You are allowing that woman Jezebel... You know, that's God's word there saying what's going on with Jezebel. Because thou sufferest that woman Jezebel, which calleth herself a prophetess, to teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. I wonder if that's been going on for uh, ever since Rose Larry landed on the farm. You sure has, people. You can mark it down. That scripture has come to pass in its fulfillment. You are allowing that woman Jezebel to preach and to teach to you, to, to that people. You listen to all kinds of stories, and you target people with them, and you cast spells on people. That's what you do. All the, all the excuse, all the things that you're saying about me and Reggie and me and Craig, all those things that you let cross your lips. See, now that's interesting. She said you cast spells. Yeah, that's called witchcraft. That is... Witchcraft is what Brother Stair has perfected over the years in his ministering with his words and his spirit out of his mouth, the witchcraft of Satan. It's just like uh, Brother Kirk brought out. Witchcraft is escaping reality, and reality is the word of God. Rebellion is rejecting reality or rejecting the word of God, but witchcraft is escaping it. The wicked is snared by the transgression of his lips. All those things that you let cross your lips, that's not true. Go, I told you. I said I'd get out. Now go. I'm not done. Then I'm get not done. done. A fool's wrath, listen to this, is presently... No, she's a fruit of the fool. You get out of this house now, and you're not coming back. Listen. You hear it? You're not kidding, are you? No, I'm not kidding. <laughs> you're not, you've got... I'm not so there's a God talking out of you. No, you hear how clear Brother Stair was talking right there? Do you people hear that? Listen. Listen to how... Listen to how yeah, 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 he can't even talk straight. Let alone... I mean, I'm telling you, that's that spirit of hell that's on the man. 
and you're not coming back. Listen. You hear? You're not Satan. No, I'm not Satan. <laughs> you got? You got? I'm not so this is God talking out of you. This is God talking. Listen. No, no, I'm you not listening to you. To stop no, you. And, and, you and just your. She's a fruit of the fool. So you're the one. You, you are ruling with fear. See, now that is God talking out of her. Just like he, he, he said that, you know, you think it's God talking out of you. It is. I'll tell you, look at the spirit behind Sister Andrea and the spirit of Ralph Stair. And you discern which one is from God and which one's from Satan. Which one is in control and which one isn't. And I quit letting you, I, 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 eight years I've been here. Good. And all it is that I, I live under, every time I come here, so free. I come here for peace. And when I come here, all I get is you hammering and hammering. What mean ye that ye beat my people to pieces and grind the faces of the poor, saith the Lord God of hosts? What a profound scripture God gave me. I wasn't even looking for it. and it, 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 God put it right in front of me about this is men like Ralph Steyer. You see here is a perfect example of what Andrea is saying to him and what, what, what God says. You've been hammering at me for eight years. That's right. And then you hear him, hammering at me for eight years. That's right. Why? Because he was after her sexually. And you'll, whatever, we'll get, get on with this here. A fool uses his anger spiritually to be beat, and it's a rod of pride. You've been hammering at me for eight years. That's right. What mean ye that ye beat my people to pieces and grind the faces of the poor, saith the Lord God of hosts? See, that's a direct answer from Almighty God himself to Ralph Stair and men like him, especially in this situation with Andrea. I come here for peace, and when I come here, all I get is you hammering and hammering. You've been hammering at me for 80 years. That's right. A fool uses his anger spiritually to be beat, and it's a rod of pride. That's pretty clear what Brother Kirk defines there, too. Very clear. Don't overlook the obvious, people. The wicked is snared by the transgression of his lips. When you first came, I told you not to go that man, but you went anyway. Did you hear what he just said? When you first came, I told you not to go with that man, but you went with him anyways. And watch the reaction of God and Sister Andrea to that exact statement that Ralph Stair said. The wicked is snared by the transgression of his lips. Now listen to this now. When you first came, I told you not to go with that man, but you went anyway. Cause you want Now, do you hear the God rising up in Andrea? That's exactly what you hear. Right here, God rising up in Andrea. When Brother Stern made that statement to you, I told you not to go with that man. Watch her reaction, how God uses her right in his face. Cause you want to woman have your way with me, you tell me I no. The wicked is snared by the transgression of his lips. My way with you? Yes. What do I want with yes. you? Why, why, why you squeeze my butt over there? Why? 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 When I kept on saying no, 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 no. The eyes of the fool are in the end of the earth. What are you talking about? He got a wandering eye. Got a lustful eye. Why you squeeze my butt over there? I wonder if that's a lustful eye that Kirk's talking about. You better mark it down, people. They're not playing no games here. This is the kind of man that Ralph Stair has been for years. He has not repented. He has not turned people to God. With this kind of stuff, he's turned people away from God, not to God. That's exactly what saying. A lust, oh, how do we say that? Wantonness? There's a lustfulness. There's a, there's a looking around. Now, do you hear me? Remember back in Peter when I was talking about it? It says, having eyes full of what? Adultery. Ah, you're talking about a fool. Ah, adultery. Yeah, that's right. Eyes full of adultery. There's an adulterous spirit a long time that goes with foolishness. See, that's why... Uh, wait a minute. What did Brother Stair say? What is lasciviousness? Foolishness? And is it an all-time spirit of adultery that goes with foolishness? You can mark it down. Those are hand in hand with old Ralph. That's a good example Brother Kirk just gave right there. Goes hand in hand, adultery and foolishness, which produces lasciviousness. Why you squeeze my butt over there? Now the Bible says, "Love not the world, neither the things of the world." If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Why you squeeze my butt over 
Why? 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 Having eyes full of what? Adultery. Ah, you're talking about food. Ah, adultery. When I kept on saying no, 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 no. Eyes full of adultery. There's an adulterous spirit a long time that goes with foolishness. Why? Why you did that? I don't see how you did that. Why? You know how nice and clear his answer was right there? Let me play that again there. This is how clear he answers right there uh, to uh, Sister Andrea. When he, when he, he said, why'd you squeeze my butt over there? Why? Why you did that? I don't see how you did that. Why? The wick see, what he was saying was, I wanted to see how you would react, but he didn't. He actually stopped short of when he said re- and then he said, to make you show out. Is that what the pattern of the Apostle Paul or any apostle or any minister of God should do to any saint? Is cause them to show out like that? That's a lie from Ralph Stare himself. He's, he's talked like that for years, people. The wicked is snared by the transgression of his Amen. lips. Amen. To make you show out like this? Yeah. No, you're going out of this place. You're leaving this place now. Yes, when I'm getting on saying what I'm saying. No, you said yes. The wicked is snared by the transgression of his lips. I want yeah, th that's the truth, people. That's the word of God now. You've already said enough. Your integrity is in question. Call it a devil. Now, she's dear Andrea. Her integrity is in question, which is the truth. And then Brother Stair says, Call him the devil. Well, God's got an answer for him. And I told you last time that a fool is a man filled with demons and the devil. Call him a devil. And he's one of the most dangerous things walking upon the face of the earth. And it's absolutely true. Call him a devil. Ye are of your father the devil. There's an exact answer from Jesus the Christ himself to men like Ralph. Call him a devil. Ye are of your father the devil. And the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. I am a prototype of Christ in your midst. Now, let's see if I got that here. About the prototype. Remember now, he speaketh a lie, and he speaketh of his own. And then old Ralph says he's a prototype of Christ. There was something that just happened the other day. A fourth prototype of SpaceX's next generation Starship rocket exploded right after a test at the company's South Texas test site on Friday. A prototype. See, what they were doing is they were making a rocket. It's a prototype so that they can pattern the... the, the uh, the one that they actually want to use after the prototype. So once they perfect the prototype, then they can make, I, I would say, the original. The prototype is a pre-runner of an original. Or as it says here, the main motive behind prototyping is to validate the design of the actual product. See, so a prototype goes before the actual product. And once the prototype is perfected, then they can make the actual product. And then he says he's the, he's the prototype of Jesus Christ. And then Jesus Christ is going to be made after his uh, prototype? Uh, no way, people. He's the prototype of Satan. There's no doubt about it. For he is a liar and the father of it. Amen. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. Yes. I believe on the pattern of the Apostle Paul is being fulfilled in me. For he is a liar and the father of it. See, that's the perfect word of God right there. It talks about how Ralph says that he's the prototype of Jesus Christ. He's greater than Jesus Christ. He's the pattern of the Apostle Paul. When it says there about nothing but lies, people. And I told you last time that a fool is a man filled with demons and the devil. And he's one of the most dangerous things walking upon the face of the earth. And it's absolutely true. Oh my God's man? That's why I, Am I God's that's man? Why I Am I God's I, man? I, I can impact. Am I God's I, man? I, I, Proverbs chapter 12, verse 16 says, A fool's wrath, listen to this, is presently... No, here's a fruit of the fool. Shut up, woman. Why? You don't want nobody else to talk because you don't want the people to even think. They don't even have time to think about anything. 
See, that's what goes on all the time in the dining hall. More than the tabernacle. I mean, come on now. You got people that have sat underneath this Ralph stair for 5, 10, 15 years, 20 years, and they're still damn dumb folk. They still don't understand? That's because they're wicked. The wicked should do wickedly and not understand. Well, I mean, anybody that's sitting under the most profound preacher of the age should learn something, sometime, anything. No. Just like you said, you don't have to give them time to think. That's exactly what, I'm telling you, you watch how God used Andrea here to show the lying wonder of Satan through men like Ralph Stair. How profound. Satan is wise. Yeah. He has had 6,000 years Kirk. of experience how to trip up men and how to lead them into sin. And he knows yeah, what he he's does. doing. That's why it's one of the hardest spirits to deal with. That's why it gets in so many churches. See, that's that's the truth. It's a hot, one of the hardest spirits to deal with because men like Ralph Stair, you can't deal with them. That's like it says, you bring a fool in a, in a, in a, in a mortar uh, a pestle uh, with wheat, he said, you bring them, that means beat them or grind them to small to powder, yet their, their foolishness, they will never repent. Period. You don't want nobody else to talk. Now, did you hear that? That, uh, listen to Ralph here, with his, with his uh, you know, while Andrea's talking, listen to him. You don't want nobody else to talk because you don't want the people to even think. They don't even have time to think about anything. Satan is wise. He has had 6,000 years of experience how to trip up men and how to lead them into sin. And he knows what he's doing. That's why it's one of the hardest spirits to deal with. That's why it gets in so many churches. It causes confusion. Then will you please tell me, if you heard me, what is this spiritual confusion you're in? Now, you know what Brother Kirk said? It's one of the most difficult spirits to deal with. It causes confusion. And a whole bunch of other, 101 other different things. And then here old Ralph asks, what's this spiritual confusion you're in? Why, it comes right from him. Uh, if you're sitting under the most profound preacher of the age, and you don't understand, and you're called damn dumb fools, peanut brains, or whatever other name he calls, and mocks people, there's something wrong with the teacher in this situation. Especially if you got people that ain't learning the Word of God like they should. That's why it's one of the hardest spirits to deal with. That's why it gets in so many churches. It causes confusion. Do will you please tell me, if you heard me, what is this spiritual confusion you're in? I'll tell you. It's coming right from Ralph Stair. That's where it's coming from. It causes confusion, causes frustration. You don't want nobody else to talk because you don't want the people to even think. They don't even have time to think about anything. Causes strife, causes envying, causes misunderstanding and a hundred one others. And people don't even know what's coming on, don't even know where it's coming from and where it is going to. See, that's the truth, brothers. This is what Kurt just explained there. Let me play that one more time again here, what Kurt just said. But that is so true about this spirit that Ralph Steris has personified and uh, projected throughout the years on people. Causes strife, causes envying, causes misunderstanding and a hundred one others, and people don't even know what's coming on, don't even know where it's coming from and where it is going to. You don't want nobody else to talk because you don't want the people to even think. They don't even have time to think about anything. And that's the truth. Why? Because it is that type of spirit. That's the truth, Brother Kirk, because it's that type of spirit. You heard Andrea saying, you don't even give people time to think. That's why for years I stopped going to the dining hall and would go out and do my work that I needed to do. Because I didn't want to be underneath the influence of that kind of a confusing, demonic spirit that Brother Stair projected upon the people there. No, you don't have to be there. not your charge. I know. Okay. I know. Uh, let me tell you something. You, no, I'm not you gonna stop, tell you me nothing. Stop. Listen. No, I'm not. Here's a fruit of the fool. No. Shut the hell up, Satan. Here's a fruit of the fool. Shut the hell up, Satan. Satan. No, is that, is that the pattern of the Apostle Paul, people? Is that how Paul talked to the saints? 
Shut the hell up, Satan! It's, it's, that would, it, I don't think it says that in anywhere in the Scripture to talk to anybody like that. I know it says, Lord, rebuke you, but it don't say sh whatever. That's the profanity of Ralph Stare. Listen to this. Is presently... No, here's a fruit of the fool. Shut the hell up, sure. The Lord rebuke you. See, he tried the Lord rebuke you after he said, Shut the hell up, Satan. Shut the hell up. Even the Lord rebuke you ain't going to work in this situation because the Lord's not going to rebuke the Lord. Period. And God is using Andrea in this situation. And I'm God's prophet. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Don't say it. And you stop talking like that. Now, wait a minute. I am God's prophet and you stop talking like that? What kind of a threat is that? What kind of a uh, uh, threat is that to anybody? I'm God's prophet. You don't talk like that. Uh, I don't see any example like that in the scriptures, people. I am sure I'm God's child. You get out of this house. No, I'm not listening to you. You're ruling over these people. They're all afraid of you. Yeah, well, they got <laughs> They're all afraid of you. Yeah, they're you're ruling over you. Yes. But beloved, remember ye the words which were spoken before of the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ, how that they told you there should be mockers in the last time who should walk after their own ungodly lusts. Yeah, listen to old Ralph here as the mocker. They all afraid of you. Yeah, they're too rolling a race. Yes. Uh, like the Massa, you are rolling. And you're so full of the Holy Ghost Master. right now, huh? Uh, listen, I don't say I don't, I'm not perfected. I'm not perfected. You're not I'm insane. Not, that's okay. You're you're not, not, that's what now, did you hear what he said to her? He said, you're not even saved. Well, uh, why did he even sell a house to her? Because of his sexual perversion. That's why he sold the house to her. I thought that the houses down there in South Carolina were supposed to be for the saints of God to come in the area to live. Not unsaved people. All of a sudden it switched that she's not saved because she didn't give in to a sexual perversion. That's exactly what a man's saying here. You're not insane. That's okay. You're that's not... that's why you say you casting spells. That's what you're doing. No doubt. You're casting spells. There's a lot of... And they say he has a gun. That's right. That, she's right on casting spells. He puts curses on people. That's where he's casting spells. Say, you're not saved. Just like Malachi said, people, discern from the righteous and the wicked. Satan is in full control. And when he is in full control, you are talking about a wise individual. And they say he has the devil. Ye are of your father the devil, and the lusts of your father ye will do. And they say he has the devil. Now, I'm not playing games here, neither is God. They say he has a devil. Ralph Stair has a devil in more than one, probably. He is the personification of a stronghold of Satan himself. And the lusts of your father ye will do. Uh, that's a clear word from God right there, people. And the lust of his father he has done and still does. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. Amen. And they say he hath a devil. Yes. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. And they say he hath a devil. For he is a liar and the father of it. Amen. Ralph Stair is a liar and the father of it from the beginning. As you heard in the 1987, he said Reagan wasn't going to make it to 1987. Now you can mark that down. Jesus was coming for the year 2000. No doubt in my mind about it. But them aren't lies. Those are just things that are said that should be put off, to, you know, done by the wayside or whatever. No, people. That's the kind of liar this man's been for years. And they say he has a death. He's got Satan one. Satan is in full control. And they say he has a death. Oh, I didn't say it. Yeah, you, just, you, you, you might be ruled over by him. Satan is in full control. And when he is in full control, you are talking about a wise individual. Now, Sister Andrea is right on. You might be ruled over. No, not might be. He is ruled over by him. That's what it may be. You might be ruled over by him. I'm sorry, come to this, but I, you know, I have to say it. Having eyes full of what? Adultery. Ah, you're talking about fool. Ah, adultery. Now you said it. Now go. Satan is in full control. 
You said your piece, everybody. You, 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 you're, not, you're not surprising me. I, I watched this over and over again. Listen. No, what no. You people, the people to shut up and say nothing when. when right. When, when, why? Right, because so you people can are hide. Can, so you can hide your stuff behind this? See, now you hear what he said there? He started to say, because people around the. And he stopped short again from saying, people around the world hear this. That's how. That's the kind of garbage he gave me when I when I prayed out loud be, about him and Rose Larry. He said, "People out there, trust me. You can't talk like that." Same exact reaction, people. But I, you'll hear here how I put in here a clip from the Wizard of Oz, which is an exact analogy of Ralph Steer. He that covereth his sins shall not prosper, but whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. See, Brother Steer, Ralph has mocked that scripture for years. We've, I've often quoted that scripture when I was on the farm, and so does Brother Jonathan and many other true ministers of God. He that forsaketh, and he that confesses and forsaketh his sin shall find mercy. That's not talking about forsaking the judgment of it. It's talking about forsaking commitment. The unfruitful works of darkness. That's what it's talking about, people. Listen to this here now. So you can hide, hide yourself behind that. He that covereth his sins shall not prosper. What? No. People, you people to shut up and say nothing when... when right. You know, when, why? Right, because so you people can hide, hide. So you can hide your stuff behind this. See, now, the curtain's coming off, people. That's like there was a brother that used to walk around on a farm. I didn't know about this. But he said, he used to say this when he was living on a farm. I found this out here just a few weeks ago. He said, pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. He was talking directly about Brother Stair being the man behind the curtain, the great prophet of God. Listen to this comparison. Pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. So you can hide your stuff behind this? Pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. That's exactly what the guy was doing in The Wizard of Oz. He's hiding behind the curtain. But he'd say, pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. And I'm God's prophet, and you stop talking like that. Do not arouse the wrath of the great and powerful Oz. Now, don't arouse the wrath of the great and powerful prophet now. You remember, you heard when I read that letter now, how he said, man, you're going to be cursed if you don't receive that special anointing that rests upon him. And I'm God's prophet. And you stop talking like that. Do you presume to criticize the great Oz? Oh, I wonder if that's what a perfect correlation of what Ralph Starr says. Listen. And I'm God's prophet. And you stop talking like that. Do you presume to criticize the great Oz? Do you presume to criticize the great prophet? I am God's prophet. And you stop talking like that. Like that's a reason to stop talking like she's talking, huh? No, God has Andrea talking because God's using her to bring out the profanity and pollution and spiritual wickedness that this man has operated in for years, people. And you stop talking like that. You ungrateful creatures. And I'm God's prophet. And you stop talking like that. The great Oz has spoken. And you stop talking like that. Pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. The great has spoken. You know what's interesting there in the background? What do you hear in the background, people? Thunder. The thunders of revelation, huh? I, that's amazing to correlate that. You hear thunders in the background of the great and powerful Oz. Something that the great and powerful prophet of Oz has used. Just like he did the 87 Prophecy. But he won't play the 87 Prophecy in its entirety. Because it reveals the truth about his perverted lifestyle that he's lived for all, almost all his life. Who are you? When I'm God's prophet. Who are you? That's from the Wizard of Oz. And he is God's prophet now. Listen to her answer. When I'm God's prophet. You're a very bad man. That's the truth, people. How perfect that fit. Just that little excerpt from The Wizard of Oz. Let's go on and continue on to end this here. When I'm God's prophet, and you 
you like that. talking like that. Come on, it's not a miracle that you're out of this thing. It's not. It's not. Oh, man. Let me tell you. No, you're not telling me nothing, woman. I have. You can go tell it anywhere else you want to tell it. Listen. No, no. Come out of this house and cast them out. And then one last thing. When you mess with these women, and you know why some of them have to come back and, and, and say, because you keep assaulting them again each time you do it, and then you say that it's because that that um you're doing it. You want to it out? Right at the end there, Andrea says, you assault these women, they got to come back to you again and again because you say you're doing it for a purpose. And that's exactly what Ralph has done for years, saying that he does those things for a purpose, the purpose of God. It's not the purpose of God. It's the purpose, it's, it's the action of Satan himself. Good. The last thing you said. No, that's the last thing you want to say. Come on. Come on, woman. We're gonna, you go out of here. We'll have the law on you put you out no, did you hear what he just said? He's going to have the law put on her and have her put out. That's remarkable. I, I guess that's the Apostle Paul pattern, though, people. I, I must be mistaken about Paul and his, and, and his, and his true sincerity to the wor very pure Word of God and the Holy Spirit and all the words that Paul talked about in sincerity and truth in obedience to the gospel. Listen to this. What, what happens here with old Ralph and Andrea here? Okay, so listen. That's no, no, listen. Though thou shouldest bray a fool in a mortar among wheat with a pestle. No, no, listen. Yet will not his foolishness depart from him. See, that's exactly what you're seeing right here. A confrontation with God and the spirit of Satan on Ralph. His foolishness will never depart from him. He is locked in. Period. He always used to say that, oh, we're not locked in. Yeah, well, he's locked in, people. He's never turned from his evil ways. No, not listening. I want you to. See, he's not listening. He's not going to listen to nobody, no matter who God uses. It's just like I said in Proverbs, people. They hated the instruction of their teachers, men like Brother, St uh, Brother Jonathan and Brother Kirk. Teachers, true teachers, men sent from God that Brother Stair, Ralph Stair rejected year after year, time after time. Not put me oh, out. I just did. No, no way. You said the last thing. So now you're out. Look at this violence. Look at this wickedness. What violence? Yeah. You're, you're the one who's pulling me. I'm telling you, go out. Now you hear that? He's saying to her, look at this wickedness and violence. And she turns around and says, wait a minute. You're the one pulling on me. Oh yeah, I'm telling you to go out. But yet it's 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 her doing the wicked and violence while he's dragging her out of the tabernacle, huh? What a lying devil from hell. No, he's a lying devil on his way to hell, people. Listen this. Is presently No, she's a fruit of the fool. What you wait, what are you I want you out of here? Were you afraid for them to hear? <laughs> They've already heard the, all of that. Oh, okay. They've heard all, all of that over and over again. Good. Are you both going to stand what's going on again? We watched this happen with several women in this place. We watched it. And then my princess wife did it. We watched it with so many others. If a wise man contendeth with a foolish man, whether he rage or laugh, there is no rest. See, that's the scripture God gave me about Ralph Stare. When he challenged me for a confrontation face to face. There is no rest, whether you contend with him or not, whether he rage or laugh, there, there's not going to be no turning in repentance, people, with men like Ralph Stair. They are locked in. God has given him over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. It's clearly seen. Though thou shouldest bray a fool in a mortar among wheat with a pestle, yet will not his foolishness depart from him. See, that's a pretty clear word of God right there. That his wickedness, foolishness is wickedness. It says, will not depart from him. Period. So there, I just have another clear example of the rage of a fool. Men like Ralph Stare. And how profound, as you've seen, God used Sister Andrea to confront that perversion that Brother Stair has been operating in for many, many, many years. 
But he had me repeat this one because I, I did it now in a more clear way. That the saints of God can be blessed. Those, like I said, will be delivered from the curse that Brother Stair has put on people for leaving the farm in South Carolina. Just like I got clips coming up for a message about how he says he's all the prophets and that uh, if you don't stay there on a the farm, you're going to be damned. No, you could turn that around. Say, so if you stay on that farm underneath a lying, false wonder as Brother Stare, Ralph Stare, you are going to be damned. Period. Because if you believe a lie and make a lie, you are going to have your part in a lake of fire which burneth with fire and brimstone. That's all there is to it. Whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. And that's all, like I, I showed you before, in, 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 his, in Ralph's reaction to the... Uh, coming of Jesus Christ before the year 2000 and all the things that happened prior to that, how he lied about lies. And that's what a liar does. It's just like Ted Bundy. I explained that earlier. Ted Bundy was a prolific, narcissistic liar. How he sat there right in the courtroom and laughed and jested, knowing, thinking that he was going to be getting away with all the murders that he committed until they found the teeth marks of his mouth on a woman's couple of women's bodies. And that's what finally convicted the man. You see, it's just like I mentioned before about the perversion of the sodomite sex that Ralph Terry has been engaged in for many, 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 many years. Why well, I think he has such trouble in his mouth or in his head. Because that's the result of that kind of sexual, spiritual perversion. In fact, there was an article out not too long ago that people that were committing oral sex were coming down with mouth cancer. Remember now, God says, be not deceived, God is not mocked. Whatsoever you sow, shall you reap. You don't sow watching pornography like Ralph Starr had done for years, and not reap the effects of the spiritual, ungodly, unsanctified perversion that comes from it. No, you don't. All right, saints. May God bless this word to your heart. May the fear of God grip your souls and keep you in His holiness and truth, in the true holiness and true grace of God. In this hour we live in of deception that's so strong upon the face of the earth. That is my prayer until we meet again. In Jesus' name, may God bless you richly and deliver you from all evil. As Jesus said, deliver us from evil and lead us not into temptation. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.